guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter four, lesson three. We're gonna get right to it. Uh, number two says, a teacher has 27 students in our class. She asked the students to form as many groups of four as possible. How many students will not be in a group? So it's asking for the remainder. Also, you'll see I underlined students because it's asking how many students. So whatever our answer is, it's going to be in students, okay? So, 27 kids into groups of four, okay? So, four times five is 20, four times six is 24, four times seven is 28, that's too big, so we're gonna go with six. We're gonna do the subtraction and get three. So, three students will not be in a group, it's asking for the remainder, okay? There will be six groups of four, but then three students will not be in a group. If you need to draw that picture, draw the picture. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay? You have four groups. You need to split up 27. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, new one, 22, 23, 24. And then 25, 26, 27. Okay? That means one, two, three, four, five, six, which is the number we got with three left over, which is the number we got. Three of those students are without a group. Okay? All right. The next one, it says a sporting goods company can ship six footballs in each carton. How many cartons are needed to ship 75 footballs? I underline cartons because it's asking how many cartons. That means. Whatever our answer is, it's going to be in cartons, okay? Six, we'll go into seven one time. One times six is six, subtract and get one. One is smaller than six, so I can bring down my five, and six will go into 15, two times, or 12. It will have a remainder of three. Now, they're gonna have those 12 cartons, but they have another three footballs they have to send. They can't just send those three footballs into the air and hope that they get there. They have to add one more carton. So it's going to be 13 cartons. Okay? Write your work down, guys. Okay. You guys are going to do four through seven. You totally can. I believe in you. And we are going to turn over and go to... The lesson check which you guys are gonna do. We're gonna do spiral review, okay? Yes, this lesson flew by, okay. Spiral review, Miss Wilkerson cut some oranges into 20 equal pieces to be shared by six friends. How many pieces did each person get and how many pieces were left over? Excuse me, Miss Leah sneezed. So, 20 pieces, six friends, let's do it, okay? Six is going to go into 20 three times. Three times six is 18. Subtract and get two. So each friend, okay, three pieces each, two, our remainder, left over, okay? All right, a school bought 32 new desks. Each desk cost $24. Estimate how much the school spent on new books. Well, 32 would round to 30, and 24, let's round it to 25, okay? Because, see that zero right there? Boom, right there. Three times five is 15, carry the one. Three times two is six, plus one is seven. $750. Okay? It's an estimate. Okay? That's as long as you're being reasonable. Okay? Could you do 30 times 20? Absolutely. Okay? Okay, write your work down. Okay. Chris has a box of eight crayons. Sylvia's box has six times as many crayons as Chris's box. How many more, how many crayons are in Sylvia's box? Well, 
eight crayons and cresses. First has six times as many. Well, six times eight is 48 crayons. There you go. Yesterday, 1,743 people visited the fair. Today, there are 576 more people at the fair than yesterday. How many people are at the fair today? Well, we're just going to take that 1743 and we're going to add 576. Okay? Doesn't say how many more people. We're not finding the difference. We're finding out how many altogether and we're measuring it in people. Okay? So, 3 plus 6, 9. 4 plus 7, 11. Carry that 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 5, 13. Carry that 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. 2,319 people. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 4.3. Come on back for 4.4. See you soon.